Can you tell me a little bit about the story of the film? Two lovely ladies uh, go up from London to, um, to Scotland for a holiday to, uh, to recover from a personal tragedy, um, a very traumatic event in their lives. And um, I guess things start to go wrong um, with the locals. I don't want to give too much away. Yeah. I think we can say what um, the trauma was because it's, it's, it comes up quite early on, but um, that we are a couple and we've um, lost a baby at full term. And my, my character um, was the one that, um, that was carrying the baby. And so they're struggling to come to terms with it. And especially my character, she's not really coping with reality. And um, yeah, and the idea is to sort of heal some some cracks that mm -hmm. have obviously occurred in our relationship since, and, and but yeah, it doesn't quite pan out that way. What attracted you to the story of this film? Mm. Lots of things. Lots of things, yeah. I love that it's a story about two gay women, you know, it's, it's a really unusual thing to see, unfortunately, um, and, and how it's not, it's not even a, a kind of thing of the film is that it's just no. it's just it happened they happen to be a couple who's pure two women you know it's yeah. not made a sort of major issue and theme of the movie so yeah um that's a really cool element um yeah and that, that it's basically female-led uh, in terms of the other characters as well so. and, the, and production and cast and crew a huge um yeah. female contingency but also i think the fact that it was set in you know the wilderness of scotland such a beautiful landscape mm. and the dark mile itself and on the loch ness and we were on boats in winter filming, I think that that challenge amazing. in itself, yeah. yeah, was was something we were really drawn to. It wasn't it wasn't going to be. We knew it wasn't going to be an easy shoot. When you read the script, you just knew it was <laughs> a, a <laughs> tough gig. It's going to be yeah, and very but, yeah challenging. Yeah. 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 One of the um, particularly special uh, aspects of this film, um, which you were very excited about, um, is that that it's the first UK indie film to um, pass through the green shoot. Um, uh, platform, green screen, uh, is that correct? Green, yeah, green screen platform. Green screen platform, um, which means that it, uh, it not only was incredibly hot in all its sort of environmental credentials, um, but it got access as a result to some fantastic um, shooting locations that it wouldn't otherwise have, uh, mm. including the, the Dark Mile itself, um, which is a very special and scientifically protected area in Scotland. So, um, yeah, that was a very cool mm, aspect yeah. of the film. Uh, what do you hope audiences will take away from the film? Mm. Mm. Um. I think that hopefully they'll be um, surprised at where it, from where it starts to where it goes. But also, you know, it's a thriller. But behind that, there's there's this really rich backstory about these two women. Which you know, it's quite an interesting sort of melding of, of genres. You know, it's yeah. sort of like a, a relationship yeah. drama in, in some ways. It is and, um, definitely. Yeah, we felt like that when we were making it. Yeah. Like it was. It was. A, we were making a drama, not we weren't sort of um, pushing for the, the the thriller moments. And um, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was, it was a really yeah interesting project in that way. Yeah, wonderful. How does it feel to be selected for the Rain Dance Film Festival? Amazing, <laughs> really thrilling. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an incredibly prestigious um, festival. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here before. I, another film was up for best UK feature two years ago. It was uh, my first lead in feature that one, and it was such an amazing experience. So when Mel told us that we'd been selected for this again, I was just so so happy to be back. And um, yeah, yeah. That's very cool. How important are festivals like Raindance to the film industry? I mean, I think you're, you're, you have been a jury member, so you're kind of versed yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah I think, I think um, so many independent films wouldn't go anywhere without them. I, I know um, from personal experience, um, films that I've been involved with would have fallen flat and not got distribution and, you know, the accolades that they rack up are really important. And it's also finding that community of filmmakers. I think being a filmmaker can feel quite lonely sometimes, um, not just for actors, but for directors, writers, producers. You know, you're sort of in this strange bubble for so long and on your own and mm. chipping away. And, and then all of a sudden you're brought together with people and you have dialogue about everyone's in the same boat and, and you can give each other advice about how to sort of further projects. Um, yeah, I think, I, I, yeah, mm. it's... it's yeah, 
they, they wouldn't be the industry that it was without them.